Hello and welcome. In this video session, I'm going to show you how to submit a sitemap in Google Search Console and also share best practices with you. When you're logged into Google Search Console, on the left hand side, we have sitemaps menu link here. Press on it. To be able to add a new sitemap, all we need to do is provide the location of our sitemap. Yeah. Most content management systems, such as Blogger, even Shopify, generate an XML sitemap automatically. For example, for Blogger, all you need to do is grab sitemap.xml path and paste that into add a new sitemap option then press submit if you're using let's say shopify same principles apply that means to be able to submit a sitemap you need to have one on your website now before you go on and use any tools simply check your own website by providing sitemap.xml to see does your content management system generate one yeah. if it doesn't and you're using popular content management systems such as wordpress or different ones there are many plugins that help you to generate an xml sitemap so for popular wordpress content management system you press on add new search for xml sitemap and install the plugin that will generate the xml sitemap now why would you want to provide an xml sitemap to google now google is a very efficient search engine that means it will discover many many different urls on a given website basically when you're submitting a sitemap in search console you are specifically telling google you know what google this is the map of my website these are the most important urls that means if your website is let's say selling products then product sitemaps become important meaning your sitemaps then should include the product URL. Okay. Ask yourself this question. What part of your website has unique original content? And it's those URLs that you should be submitting to Google. Okay. Now, if you want to generate a sitemap without using plugins and so on, there are many, many online tools that help you to generate sitemaps popular one is xml-sitemaps.com all you need to do is provide your website details which will be your domain and press start to let the tool to generate an xml sitemap now if you're using this option all you then need to do is download that file which I have done already and then upload this file onto your web server I'll quickly show you where that goes self-hosted websites using cPanel you need to find file manager through your web hosting account and then where you have installed your website in the root directory is you simply upload that XML sitemap from your local computer. That means if you end up using tools that help you to generate the sitemap, then you can upload that to your web server, okay? So, while we're here, let me show you quick and easy methods. As I've said, you add a sitemap because you want to tell Google, you know what, Google, show me reports in Search Console according to my sitemap, as in the URLs on the sitemap. Make sense? Let's imagine this scenario. Typical WordPress site generates category 
URLs, um, tag URLs. These don't contain original content, right? So it's not smart for me to generate one parent sitemap that includes these URLs because there's nothing unique on these URLs. While we're here, let's press on post sitemaps. We can use search console tools to see page indexing reports according to those URLs in the sitemap. Or while we're looking at sitemaps reports, we can actually filter different types of sitemaps too. Or when it was last discovered, as in when Google last crawled the website and so on. But let's imagine this scenario. Let's imagine your website is mainly based for image content. As in you have a lot of images, that's what you're doing. Let's imagine you're a professional photographer. If that's the case, understand the fact that Google can understand different types of sitemaps, such as image sitemap, video sitemap, news type of sitemap. So you can read more about it from the link in the description of this video, okay? Because if my website was just publishing videos, then it would only be wise for me to generate a video sitemap and then submit that to Google. Make sense? So I can use online tools to generate a video sitemap as well. While we're here, let's press on the three little dots here. Actually, let me press on the sitemap itself. In Search Console, I can press Open Sitemap to see what the sitemap is. As in the URLs within it, I can analyze things here to say, you know what, are the URLs correct? I can press on Control Your My Keyboard to see the source code of the sitemap. Basically, this URL here is the URL information. In my example, that URL is located here through lock, which is the location. When it was last modified, whereby Google does evaluate last mod. And if there are images, the plugin that I'm using generates that information in the sitemap itself. While we're here, we can press on the three little dots and actually remove the sitemap. Then Search Console gives us a pop-up saying, you know what, are you sure you want to remove it? Well, you can add, delete, or resubmit a sitemap. When would you want to do things like this? Let's imagine you have updated your website and its URL structure. Then you can actually remove it and resubmit the sitemap. In my example, let's do that. And let's submit the sitemap. Again, as you can see, I have deleted the sitemap and resubmitted it. Now, the only time you would actually do this is when you update your entire website, whether it's content or the URL structure. So, that is how easy it is to add a sitemap to Search Console. The best practices, as I've said, is to make sure that you ask a simple question as a website owner by saying, okay, which URLs has unique content that I want Google to index and show in Google search. And then make sure the sitemaps that you're submitting in Search Console contain those URLs only. Before I close up, do keep in mind that Ranker has created a new video course for Google Search Console Crash Course, as well as SEO for the future, because Google is making major changes. By following the insights in these private video courses, your website results will improve because I've shared great insights in terms of Search Console, what to focus on, or search engine optimization for the future. 
I thank you for learning with Rankia and I'll talk with you in the next video session.